Alright, so let's look at uh, sum and difference formulas for uh, cosine. Uh, I've got a video for the sum and difference of sine. You can check those out. They're, they're pretty similar. The only uh, you work the, the problems we're going to work in this video is they work the same as in the sum and difference of sine. It's just we're using different formulas. Uh, Alright, so what we have here is cosine a plus b equals cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b and cosine a minus b is equal to cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b. And you can see the formulas they're the same the only difference is the minus here and the plus here so if this is cosine a plus b we're going to have a minus sine sine's opposite and if we have uh, cosine a minus b the sine here is going to be plus all right, so let's uh, take a look at some examples. All right, so here we have uh, cosine of 105 degrees. All right, and what we want to do is find the exact value of this. Well, we don't know the cosine of 105. What we do know, though, is we know the cosine of 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees and also we know uh, 90, 180, 270, 360 and 0 degrees. Alright so what we have to do is this uh, cosine of 105 degrees we need to see if we can rewrite this using these angles over here these are the ones that we know well if you look at 45 degrees and 60 degrees well 60 plus 45 is 105 so what we can do here is we'll rewrite this as cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees okay and now we can use our sum and difference formulas here see the 60 degrees is like the a and the 45 degrees is like the b so this is like cosine a plus b all right so if we if we use our formula let's let's go ahead and write the formula down first so we have we have cosine a plus b is equal to cosine a cosine b and then minus sine a sine b and you can see here that the 60 degrees that's our angle a and the 45 degrees would be our angle b alright so the cosine of 105 degrees which is equal to cosine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees so that's going to be cosine A and A is 60 so that's going to be cosine 60 times cosine B and B is 45 so times cosine 45 and then minus sine A and A is 60 times sine B and B is 45 alright so we know the sine and cosine of these angles here well cosine of 60 is 1 half times the cosine of 45 which is square root of 2 over 2 minus the sine of 60 and the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 times the sine of 45 and the sine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2 so if I multiply this I get uh, square root of 2 over 4 minus square root of 6 over 4 and then I can add these together I have a common denominator so that's square root of 2 minus square root of 6 all that over 4 
and that would be my answer. All right, let's take a look at one more. I've got cosine of uh, pi over 12, and once again, you know the the special angles that we know. We know uh, we know 30 degrees, and our problem here is in radians, and 30 degrees in radians is pi over 6. We know 45 degrees, and 45 degrees in radians is pi over 4. We know 60 degrees, and 60 degrees in radians is pi over 3. All right, so we're going to rewrite this pi over 12. We've got cosine. All right, and so I'm going to have a my denominator is going to be 12 and so what can I put up here to to get pi over 12 well look at this if I do 4 pi well you see how the 4 and the 12 cancel and that would leave me with pi over 3 well 4 pi minus 3 pi would leave me with just pi and you see here how the 3 and the 12 cancel and that would leave me with pi over 4 All right. So this is equal to cosine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4 once, once I reduce these fractions. All right, so let's write the, uh, let's write the formula down for cosine a minus, well, let's look at this one, cosine a minus b. This is like our a and this one's like our b. So cosine of a minus b is cosine a cosine b plus sine a times sine b. All right. So I have cosine of pi over 12 which is equal to this, cosine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4, cosine pi over 3 minus pi over 4, okay, and this is going to be cosine a, and remember a is pi over 3, times cosine b, and b is pi over 4, plus Okay, see the plus? Sine A, sine B. So sine A times sine B. All right. So we know this. The cosine of pi over 3, which is the same as cosine, which is cosine 60, that's going to be 1 half. Cosine pi over 4, well, pi over 4 is 45 degrees, so cosine pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2 plus the sine of pi over 3 well the sine of pi over 3 or the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2 and then the sine of pi over 4 would be square root of 2 over 2 All right. so multiplying this together I get square root of 2 over 4 plus square root of 6 over 4 and I can combine these, so I get square root of 2 plus square root of 6 over 4. And there's my answer. And make sure you don't uh, add these together and put square root of 8. You can't do that. Okay, the only way you can add radicals is if you have the same number under the radical, or under the square root. Alright, so I hope this video has helped. I uh, hope you'll check out my other videos, and if you like them, you can subscribe. Alright, thanks.